Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Okay, so we have 4 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of x equals 8. Okay, can this be possible? The answer is yes. Because when, when you have this, if you have the same base, pick one of them, and then we add the powers. So this will now be equal to 8, right? So this means that 4 to the power of 2x is equal to 8. And our next target is to make sure we have the same base. 4 here is 2 multiplied by 2. And this is to the power of 2 and it's equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 because this will give us the same 8 right now here we have 2 to the power of 2 then to the power of 2x this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 meaning we have 2 in 3 places now if you have 2 powers you can multiply them so we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2x that will give us some um, 4x and this is equal to 2 to the power of 3 and remember that our target was to make sure we have the same base so now that the bases are the same we work with the powers so that 4x is now equal to 3 and to get the value of x, we divide both sides by the coefficient. Divide this by 4, divide this by 4. This is going with this. And then x is equal to 3 over 4. And mind you, we can confirm our answer. Because 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x is giving us 8, right? So this means that... In place of, okay, I write 4. In place of x, I'll be writing 3 over 4. Then multiply by, we have from 4 again to the power of 3 over 4. So the question is, will this give us 8? Now, like I said before, we pick one of the bases, and that will be 4. Then add the powers, 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4. Now let's come down here. We have 4 as the base. Then 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4. The LCM of the powers is 4. Then we have 3 plus 3. This is going to give us 6. Okay, let's not do this. This is going to give us 4 to the power of 6 over 4. So the question now is, how would this give us 8? This is a fraction. We can reduce this to a lower term so that we have 4 to the power of 2 into 6 is 3. Then 2 into 4 is 2. So we have 4 to the power of, of 3. Now, do you know that 4 to the power of 3, sorry, is 3 over 4, is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 over 4? This is because 4 here is the same as 2 to the power of 2. Sorry, this is supposed to be 2. So that this can go with this. And now, we'll be having 2 to the power of 3. And what is 2 to the power of 3? It is equal to 8. And remember that... It is the same 8 that we had on the right hand side of the equation. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to 3 over 4 is satisfying. Thank you for watching.